The girl turned to see the knight with his sword drawn. He rushed to explain, but he didn't expect the soldier to kneel down. He even called him princess. Did he see right through his identity as a princess on the run? The story goes back to Christmas Day. The father was in the living room handing out gifts to the children. The younger brother got a toy soldier. For her sister, a beautiful dress. Clara's was an egg. She tried to open it. She realized there was no key in the box. Instead, there was a hole in the center. Clara went to the godfather and tried to open it. But the godfather told her to go to the party first. At the party, everyone had their own Christmas present. Everyone ran out of the house. Clara followed. She found the twine with her name on it. She followed it farther and farther, through a long, dark passage, and came to a strange forest. Finally, she found the key in a tree. She was about to pick it up, but a mouse snatched it away. Clara gave chase. The mouse plunged into the snow and came out still provoking Clara. Clara was furious. She chased him all the way to the bridge. A knight who had been sleeping for a thousand years. Clara was curious and touched it. The next moment, the knight took his machete and faced Clara. When Clara said her name, the knight knelt down. It turns out her mother was the queen of this kingdom. Since the queen left, since the queen's departure, the four kingdoms here have been at war. Clara had to get the key no matter what. She asked the knight to accompany her to the opposite forest. The fourth kingdom, which he said was dangerous. Clara found a rat running away. Clara jumped off her horse and went after them alone. But what she didn't expect was an attack by a pack of rats. A swarm of rats. The beautiful princess was captured in the forest by an army of rats. A knight suddenly appeared and saved her. In order to save her life, the princess had to give up the key. She had to give up the key and look for a new opportunity. The knight took the princess to the queen's palace. She met the three kings of the palace. They were the king of flowers, the king of snowflakes and the queen of sweets. They told the princess. They told the princess that this was once a world of toys. His mother brought them back to life. It was ruled by four kings, but there was an evil ginger queen who built a huge army after her mother left to rule the world. But now her mother is dead. Only Clara can help them defeat Mother Ginger and save the world. Because only by unlocking the machine that brought the doll back to life to be able to fight against Mother Kong. But the key disappeared with the queen. The princess took a closer look. This is the same key as the egg. In order to protect her mother's kingdom, Clara decided to retrieve the key herself. But before she could get far, she was ambushed by the queen mother. It turned out that the mouse monsters were the queen's army. Clara's army was swallowed up, and she was sent to Queen Mother. But the Queen of Yeast has no intention of killing the princess. It may not be that simple, but the princess just wanted the key back. She accidentally activated the switch. The palace of dolls began to shake violently. The princess got the key that Mother Ginger had dropped. She ran away. When she opened the egg, there was nothing inside. Clara thought maybe her mom told her to save the world, so Clara gave the key to the Candy Queen. They succeeded in turning on the doll machine, but it turned out to be a huge disaster. This is the kind of army you've never seen before. It's an army of toys brought to life, and the one who controls them is the Candy Queen. The Queen put them on the machine, and at the flip of a switch, they instantly grow in size and become the Candy Queen's army to conquer the world. It turns out that the Queen of Candy discovered her ambition. She was banished from the castle. Now Clara has lost her value. The Candy Queen ordered her soldiers to lock Clara up and took out the egg her mother had left her. She accidentally found a mirror inside. Clara seemed to realize something. What her mom left her was to believe in herself. Clara didn't want to let her mom down. She decided to be brave. She wanted to save the world. She and the knight escaped from the room where they were being held. She sent the mouse to take the knight to Mother Ginger for help. She snuck into the life machine alone. When Mother Jiang got the news, she pretended to attack the castle. She attacked the castle under false pretenses, successfully attracted the attention of the Candy Queen. Queen Candy made too many soldiers. Queen Ginger was quickly defeated. Luckily, Mother Ginger had already escaped, and the princess managed to enter the hall. The little mouse appeared in time, attracted the attention of the soldiers. The princess took the opportunity to shut down the machine. Then the candy queen realized something was wrong. She rushed back to the palace and grabbed Clara. Clara tried to dissuade the queen from flicking the switch, but it was too late. This time, she was wrong. The machine changed direction, turning the candy queen into a toy, and the tin soldiers fell to the ground as they lost control of the machine. 